Rise fight hype. Rise of Van for fight hype. Yeah, Shot fight champ. hype. Let's go, champ. I'm with my man, Shannon the Cannon. It's the champ. How are we doing, Shannon? Here comes the champ. It's the champ. Here comes the champ. It's the champ. Let's go, champ. How are we doing? I'm good, champ. And yourself? Not too bad, thank Great. you. First press conference in the UK. Yes. Uh, today, obviously, we had the David Hay, Arnold the Cobra. Ooh, presser. the Cobra. At the O2 Arena. Yeah. I am O2. the greatest Muhammad Ali's exhibition is also beautiful. going on over here. Yes, brother. Yes. Um, how did that go for you? Uh, it was great for me. I was a little surprised that I was first. It was like sudden. I didn't, I wasn't prepared. But I'm just, you know, off the top anyway, so it doesn't matter. I feel great. I'm happy to be here. Um, it's a great venue. Uh, I was here for the Joshua fight when he won the title. And it was just um, amazing electricity in the air. So for me to be fighting here in the birthplace of boxing, London, England, England, the birthplace of boxing, this is great for me. I feel great. I know you've already traveled around the world. You've fought in many different countries. You've fought some big, big fighters, George Foreman, Lennox all Lewis. Of them. Um, all of them. You've never fought in England. Never fought Are in England. you looking forward to the atmosphere on Ooh, Saturday night? I can't wait, champ. It's going to be electric. All the energy coming out. I'm going to be coming out. Champ! Champ! You're going to see me. Everybody's going to go crazy. It's going to be great. What's the got a ring, a ring wall, ring music? Uh, not sure yet, champ. I'm working on that. It's going to be a surprise. Actually, I do have something. It's going to be a surprise. It's going to be a banger. A banger. Um, obviously, your opponent has pulled out of the fight. Yeah, yeah, um, where are we in terms of finalizing a new opponent for you for Saturday? Um, and how confident are you that you will get one for Saturday? Uh, I believe they will work it out, and I believe that um, it'll be someone, whoever it is, I'm going to knock him out. And like I said earlier, I'm going to knock him out. When I knock, I'm going to hit him so hard, I'm going to knock his corn out. <laughs> yeah, champ. <chair. laughs> Yeah. Obviously, the UK boxing scene is, is booming at the moment. We've got more world champions in this country than Ooh. any other country. Yeah, yeah. Um, the heavyweight division, we've got two world heavyweight champions. We've got yeah. the lineage champion in Tyson Fury and then Anthony Joshua, yeah. who's up against Dominic Breezel next month. Um, just a note on Tyson Fury, obviously, there's a lot of criticism about Tyson Fury. Yeah. He, al he almost reminds a lot of people about around Muhammad Ali, when Muhammad Ali was very vocal about politics, religion, right. personal beliefs. Right. Where is the boundary for these boxers? Where do they stop talking and, and going beyond the public domain? Uh, I'm not sure, champ. You know, I'm just here to have a good time and have fun and hopefully inspire and motivate people to uh, not give up on their life. You know, I was suffering from major depression a few years ago. I was uh, mentally feeling terrible financially. I was, you know, washed up from things that my former managers, promoters had left me in a bad position. And, and so I felt like, you know, I was giving up on life and I had ballooned up to 400 pounds. I was eating donuts and fast food all the time and I was really down on myself. And um, it was to a point to where I was just like, I wanted to give up on life. And I had my daughter uh, and I said, you know what, I got I to gotta pull, pull, pull it together. Not only that, you know, being alone, not having no friends, no entourage, I had to become my own self-motivation. So I started saying, let's go champ as a self-motivation tool, and here we are today inspiring people around the world to not give up on themselves, to do better in school, to go to bed on time, eat right, you know what I'm saying? Change change bad habits, stop hanging around negative people, and just doing what they gotta do to become the champ they are. Everyone's a champ, you just gotta bring it out, champ. You know that, champ. Absolutely. Let's go, champ. I'm trying to find the, obviously, you mentioned about depression and, and four years out, and, and you, you know, you, you grew yeah. in size to 400 plus pounds. Yes. Not a lot of people know what fighters go through in camp. Yeah. The right. grueling camps, trying to drain weight, get to weight, get into shape. What was your motivation to kind of go back down and get back into boxing? What was your main kind of focus? On my main life? focus was my family, to be honest with you. First, my family first and myself. I just really felt like, you know, leaving my leaving the earth and, you know, uh, even harming myself. A lot of people, you know, people don't talk about the suicide rate in the world, but it's high, champ. It's high. And, um... I was down in the point where I felt like, you know, maybe I should, should not be here anymore, but I, I can pull it together, champ. You know, we, we all had our, hit our points and I'm able to talk about it and express it and hopefully, because I have the voice now, I can help another kid or help someone else, a man or a woman out there that's suffering. But at the same time, they can say, you know what, there's hope. And that's what I'm trying to do, champ, is bring some hope back to the people. The people's champ, Shannon the Cannon, two-time heavyweight champ in the world. And that's right, I'm back. Let's go, champ. Shannon, thank you for your time. Thank you, champ. Can't wait to see you on Saturday night. Oh, I can't wait, oh, champ. And we'll catch up thank with you, you, champ, for everything. You do Friday great interviews, way. by the way. Fight hype. Oh, I love you, champ. Let's go, champ. Thanks for your razzle, man. Fight